Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests. I'm here to talk about Remus's icebreaker speech. And I think it's fair to say that an icebreaker is likely the most nervous you'll ever be in your Toastmasters career. But hopefully you'll come to find the Toastmasters is a really friendly and supportive and constructive environment to come and practice in. With Remus, you would never notice that he was nervous. He was immediately really energetic and enthusiastic. And he was also really passionate. And within an instant, we had learned something about him. We learned that he loves Ferraris. <laughs> I thought the car, the car prop was a really great touch as well. I spoke to Remus before the speech to find out what he wanted me to look out for and uh, you know, comment on when I'm doing my evaluation. And he told me that he would tell his life story in a creative way. He also told me that he wanted to convey a clear message in every chapter, as well as give a good sense of his journey and how he felt throughout his journey. I'm pleased to say that Remus met this ad admirably, and I think he did a really great job. One thing I really admired in this speech was the way that it was written. I thought that Remus used really lively vocabulary um, and delivered it in a really lively fashion as well. And I thought that he used humour really well, such as when he bought out the car and he said, you know, I want it to be 100% bigger and <laughs> very well. One thing I did notice, which I'll draw your attention to, is that Remus spoke quite fast during his speech, and it made it made the speech a little bit tricky to follow near the end. But I don't want everyone to worry, this is something that happens quite often throughout icebreaker speeches. I'm pretty sure that I did the same. And it's the sort of thing that the more you speak, the more often you speak, you will start to notice that, that the pacing issue goes away and you'll speak a little bit more slowly. Another thing that I really liked in his speech was that we learned a lot about him. He did use a really novel structure, and I thought that using the chapters worked very well and helped to signpost his speech very clearly. It was also a really personal and endearing speech. I think to sum up, I thought Remus had a really great first speech and that he has a lot to be proud of, and I look forward to his second speech.